Hello, Angie from Mathis Roofing and Repairs. This is Joel from JND SEO. And I'm going to show you three ways that you can improve your website or actually go ahead and start to beat your customers online. And I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste mine. So I'm actually going to make this as quick as possible. If at the end of the video you do want to hear more information, we can just set up a quick 5-10 minute phone call. Um, and I can answer those questions for you or give you guys some more info. If not, there's actually a bunch of free tips and strategies in here. And you'd be able to use those to go ahead and uh, improve your site or even partially build a new one based on what I tell you. All right, so um, let's start with content. So I'm, I'm on your page. We're talking about content, citations, and backlinks. All right, so talking about the content, I'm on your homepage. Um, and you guys don't have really any content on here other than a few words with your name and address. Um, of course, phone number. So I know these sites potentially are a little more limiting because it's a business site, not a um, like a typical website that you could build out like that. But I have definitely seen some with, with some content on here. Um, but that depends too, I guess, kind of what you guys want to do. Um, but we're really looking for about 1,500 words of content. And that's really what Google kind of uh, recommends having. And the reason Google wants so much content is that the more content you have, the more uh, you know information you're going to have out there for people to read about and search and find. So they're going to rank your site higher. Um, and so I'm actually going to show you Delta Roofing. They're one of the top ones in the area. And if we look at their site, we're going to find out pretty quickly they don't have 1,500 words either. They probably have under three or 400 words of content. One thing they do have working in their favor, though, is they have this blog. And blogs really work kind of the same way as the content. In fact, it's the way they can kind of make up for it. Because you have all these headers on here, and they have a lot of tips and strategies, and people like reading them, and they can actually click right to them as well. Google ranks blogs pretty high as well. So the other reason, though, it's good to have a lot of content is the more you have, the more keywords you can put into it. So I've just put in Roofing Hilton Head SC. I know it's a little farther from you guys, um, but I did find you in a search around the area where I put this in. So I'll just show you this as an example, and then we'll look at your site. And obviously, if, even if there was another area that you guys work and you don't go this far over, that's totally fine. And uh, it's still all applicable as an example. So this one, though, is for new customers. It's also what they are going to be searching if they're looking in the area. First thing they're going to find are these companies paying for ads at the top of the screen. And the second thing is going to be this map pack, also called a GMB or Google My Business. And this is going to bring us to our um, this is going to bring us to our second topic, which is citations. And that's just when you get your business name, address, and phone number all listed together into a directory site. And these are sites like Yelp, Yellow Pages, and Home Advisor, to name a few. And the top three up here that we're seeing. These ones are going to be getting really all the phone calls on this page of, for the map pack anyway. And there's a little preview window. You could view all this to the rest. But if you're on this page, you're getting exposure from just the regular Google searches. And these are here because of citations. And the directory sites that you're getting listed on, that your name, number, and, and uh, address, it's going to be sites like HomeAdvisor, Yelp, and um, you know Better Business Bureau as well. Next, we go to the organic section. There are going to be 10 results that show up on every page. And these show up in reference to our key phrase, Roofing Hilton Head SC. So we can rank this keyword based on the results. So number one goes to Yelp, two goes to Alliance Roofing, and three is going to go to Delta. Of course, Yelp is a directory. And the fact that a directory is number one is actually a really good thing because directories are easier to beat. All right, so I found that I put your website, Mathis Roofing Repairs LLC, in. Um, and I did find that you know I, I was able to still pull a little data from it. Now, I see that you guys don't have any headers at the top of your page. If you did, it would look like this, like Home Delta Roofing has there. Um, and then just diving into the numbers, you guys don't have too much coming up, but we talked about backlinks and referring domains would be our third topic. Um, and we have a little bit of trust here with the 13. But what I'm going to do instead is hop over here to Delta so I can show you with a little more numbers. Um, so if we look at their backlinks, they have 324 and they have 87 referring domains or websites that these links are on. So there's 87 sites that they have 324 links on. When people click on these links, and it could be a picture, button, or anything, it's going to redirect them back to deltaroofing.co. And a great example is like a Facebook business page. If you guys have one of those, that would be your referring domain, your Facebook business page. And where you put your web address in, that would be an actual backlink. So when you click it, you go back to the site. Now, the more websites that point back to your site, the stronger your trust is going to be with Google, which is this UR number. And the higher this goes, um, it's going to be it's going to help you find be found for more keywords in Google. So they have 135 keywords right now they're showing up for. And these are what bring the visitors in. And we can see they've got 32 visitors coming to their site every month. 
So let's just take a quick look at a few of their keywords. First thing we see is Delta Roofing, their name. 200 people do search them by name every single month. And we can see that they're in the second position for that. So we know there's 10 results that show up on every page as we showed in our Google search. So if you want to be on the first page, you just have to be in the top 10. And if you're number one, you're going to catch about 20 to 37 percent of this total volume to your website. So number two, it's going to go down a little bit. It's going to be around 7 percent for this one, where it's going to give them 14 of the 200. Now, people who search you by name know who you are. It's probably some referrals, also people who probably saw your signs. You also want to bring in new customers. So we also have roofing contractors, Hilton Head here. And we're this is a good one for new customers. 20 people search it every month. They're in the 10th position, so the very bottom of page one. And that's going to give them about 0.57 of the total 20 um, visitors. So they're going to get half of a person from that one. And if there was more search volume, obviously that would be even a bigger percentage there. All right, so that's just a few keywords. Typically, if you guys had about 100 coming to your site of visitors, you could expect to get about 20 to 30 phone calls on the conservative side. And, you know, depending on what your closing percentages are, that would bring you probably on a conservative side between two and four visitors per month. But now that you guys have the information, you know, if you wanted to build a, a new site, um, you know, maybe more of like a dot com that you could probably get ranking a little bit easier. You know, we'd want to apply the same things, the content that we talked about, get those backlinks in, get that strong. We're just going to build up the trust and the strength of your site, which is going to help you be found for keywords. And that's what's going to bring in your visitors to your site. And that's going to bring the calls for you. Of course, that equals the job. So they really all work together. But now that you guys have all the info, if you know, if you guys don't want to grow, you're happy where you're at, you don't have to do anything with it. If you guys want to grow, you have someone you use, you could show them the site. Well, I mean, the video that I sent you. And if you guys don't have anyone you use, definitely looking to grow, pick up some more visitors and uh, customers along the way. You know, we should set up a five, 10 minute phone call and I can answer any questions for you or give you some more information. Thank you guys for your time and have a great day.